Good morning. I'm here in the kitchen and I've had a beautiful yoga practice this morning and I even got to do some kirtan nice and loud since my uncle was off uh, doing probably some grocery shopping and so like I had the house to my health, my house, I had the house to myself so I was able to just belt out um, dum durga ye namaha really really loud 108 times this morning which was glorious. And now I'm really hungry, and I'm looking forward to my melon. Look at that! Yay, it's my melon! That is a local Crenshaw, if I'm saying that right, local Crenshaw melon from the farmer's market. And it is so sweet and so delicious, and I'm really looking forward to eating it. And I'm going to have some lemon water with my breakfast, get nice and hydrated. And, uh, yeah, that's today, so far. <laughs> so I've eaten as much of that half of a melon as I can eat in one setting. And I uh, just, I'd probably say four-fifths of it. And now I'm sitting here in my chair with my kitty. Kitty? So here's things the dogs have come unglued because I think my uncle's just come home. And um, I've got Writing Wild, which is a book that I'm still working through that I am reading. And I'm going to spend a little time doing that. And then I've got my notebook for some morning pages of writing. And uh, kitty cat cuddles, because this is like part of my morning ritual quite often is to hang out with Jeffle Bell. Yeah, say hi. Yeah. Jazz is camera shy. <laughs> I'm down here at my sit spot on the creek and I've just recently been joined by some chattery chickadees. Earlier in the year it was pretty common to see them down here and to hear them down here and they disappeared during the nesting season. I'm guessing they went up higher up into the forest over here. It's really peaceful down here. I finished reading a section in Writing Wild and then I decided that I wanted to take my writing time, my notebook writing time, just down here to the creek and also get in some sit spot time. And I've been watching uh, water skippers and there hasn't been a lot happening down here but I've been watching the water skippers. And then I got to watch a crawdad do something I've never seen it do before. It was pulling a leaf off the bank and then bringing it down. And it looked like it was trying to tuck it into some other leaf and stick mulch. And I couldn't tell exactly what he was doing, but he was being industrious. So that was kind of fun to watch. And I watched a ferocious water skipper go after a wasp that had come down to the water's edge to drink and he like grabbed him and like pulled him in and then uh, the wasp got away but that was, that was interesting I've never seen a water skipper go after a wasp so lots of different different little things happening down here when there's not a lot of more bird action happening it's kind of fun sometimes because in my sit spot then it, it causes me to sort of look in and zero in a little closer and so I see things that I might not have seen if I was being able to watch a lot of birds moving around and stuff around me or other critters so today it was crawdads and water skipper TV down here and uh, I've got a snack with me I have a banana and <laughs> banana. <laughs> I just have to do that ever since I saw the minions. Oh my gosh. And my husband goes around saying banana all the time too. So now I laugh every time I say the word banana. And I've got some homemade almond milk. And this is actually a blend of almond and cashew milk. And raw almonds and raw cashews. And a date or half a date. This one has a whole date. And um a little bit of vanilla extract, usually. Mm. And it's so good. This is one of my favorite 
favorite beverages and it gives me that creaminess that I, I love so much. And I seem to do really well when I get to have um, a little bit of nuts in my diet and my favorite way to eat them is like this or ground up into something. So, um, or in raw pie, yeah, but I don't make that because it's so complex. Or at least I think it is. One of these days I'm going to have to make them. So, um, yeah, so I'm down here in my little sit spot and I did a couple pages of ram ramble writing and um, observations and such and I try to write a few pages each day and uh, sometimes I'll do more, sometimes I do less, especially if I'm working on a, another writing project during that time. So, uh, and then I'll pull from it too when I've done nature time like this and I've been writing down my observations, I'll pull from that to put into further pieces and articles or even something that I'm writing for a book. So, yeah, so uh, a little bit of writing time and I got my snack down here and I'm just enjoying the sun on my back and some quiet time next to the creek and this is a very important part of my days or weeks. I don't always get down here every single day but I definitely get outside every single day and this spot is just really relaxing and really peaceful and I love it. And I want to share it again with you guys, and yeah. So I'm going to have my snack and just enjoy, see if the chickadees come in even closer, see if I get any more crawdad movie going on down there. <laughs> and uh, I'll talk to you the next time. Hey there. This is what I look like after sitting in the sun for about oh, a half hour to 40 minutes picking bush beans. Oh my gosh, it's really hot out here. And there were a lot of bush beans to pick, so I'm going to show you that. Whoa. Uh, there's a lot of bush beans. And a little piece of parsley for my lunch. And uh, there's still pole beans to pick, but I think that's it for right now. I'm hungry. It's time to go up and make my salad, and I think I'm going to cook up some of these beans and have them on the side with them. So, yeah. <sighs> and then I think I might take a shower. Whew. I decided to check the tomatoes before I went up. Check this out. Oh, yum. Yeah. There's going to be tomato on my salad. Mmm. I love summer and I love gardens and I'm really excited for my lunch now. <laughs> Alright, so I thought I would show you my lunch that I was talking about. There are the green beans and I cooked those up in some coconut oil, which is my favorite oil for green beans when I cook them, and uh, a little bit of garlic, fresh garlic. And here's my salad, There's some lettuce, parsley lemon, cucumber from my garden, and then that one of the tomatoes from my garden, and a little dollop of mayonnaise that I'm going to mix into it there. Usually I use olive oil more often than not, but I'm getting really low, so I went with the mayonnaise. And my digestive reading is going to be The Spirit Rebellion by Rachel Aaron. I'm just starting this book. It's the second in the series, and I love her books. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do for a little while. Bye! Hello again. So uh, I took some time to work on a bit of beading and I have a mess here in front of me. But beading is one of my creative outlets and I have lots and lots of beads, especially since I inherited all of my aunt's beads and she was a big time beater. So I've been working on making a variety of different jewelry and hopefully I'll have enough at some point to actually uh, do a booth or something. It'll be fun. So here is a piece I made. It's got citrine and glass beads and a little bit of chain. And uh, yeah, 
There you go. Just yet another fun thing to do with my day. Alright, everyone, here is dinner. This is green beans and various summer squash over polenta with a tomato sauce with lots of fresh chopped basil and oregano. And it's making my mouth water! Yay! So I had that delicious dinner and now I'm out for my evening walk with my husband and we are up in McDonald Forest, which is just up the road from where I live right now. And it's beautiful. And when we're done here, we're going to end up doing some garden watering. And then maybe a few more chapters in my book and the snack that I didn't get to this afternoon. What was that about? I think I got too, too into the beating thing that I was doing. So, um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the few glimpses into my day and some of what I was eating and some of what I was doing. I enjoyed bringing you along on it and I will see you next time. Bye!